This is a first look at the upcoming Magma loop node feature. In uh, this existing scene we have a genome which is sampling a texture map and setting the vertex colors of the mesh according to that. And uh, if we take a look at the original genome flow, we have a current mesh node and a face index typed in into a face query node which is sampling at the center at the Bericentric coordinate 0 0.333 of each face and then we are getting the texture coordinates and passing to the texture eval, text map eval node which is sampling the color and assigning to the three vertices of each face. If you want to do something more complex like for example sampling the three corners of a face that means all three vertices we are again using the same input nodes but this time three different face queries at the three different bericentric coordinates for the three corners and then we have three text map eval operators which are then summed together first the second and the first and then the third added to the other two and the result is divided by three and goes out as the color of the whole face. Now, in the new version of Genome Magma, we have exactly the same result, but this time we have a loop node which has an input defining the number of iterations, which is in this case three. We have an input which is a vector uh, to hold the color initialized to 0, 0, 0, and then the face index. We have three inputs and the first and the third are unmodifiable and the second is modifiable. That means that inside this for loop, this input true value, which is currently 0, 0, 0, can be accumulated over time. We have the iteration index, which is compared against the number of iterations and as long as it's less, the for loop will be repeating again and again and again. And then we are using again the uh, iteration index inside the mux operator and the mux is passing the barycentric coordinates either 100, 010 or 001 to a single face query operator which is then passing the texture coordinate to a single text map of our operator and the color of that is being sampled in the three corners and add it at each iteration to the previous value of the input true, which is the mod modifiable input. And then that result goes out and in again multiple times, and this time three times, and the resulting accumulated value is divided by the number of iterations converted to a float, and that gives us the average color. Now if we change this uh, number of iterations to only one, only the first value will be taken and you'll notice that when multiple faces happen to share the same vertex as their first vertex, we're getting large polygons, which we weren't getting before, we were getting individual triangles because we were sampling the center of each face. Now we're creating much more interesting result, but if we would enter 0 0.3333 in each of the X, Y and Z barycentric coordinate components, we are going to produce exactly the same sampling at the center of each face as in our original um, genome modifier. Now, we could modify this setup easily to do four iterations instead of three. We'll pass the fourth case to be the actual center of the face and we'll set the first to be 100, zero, zero, the first vertex. And now if we go out and change the number of iterations to 4, the fourth iteration is actually going to sample the three corners and the center of the face, sum them together, divide by 4 and output the result. Now we have a much more universal flow where the result can be set to be taken from only one vertex, two vertices, three vertices, three vertices on the center and so on. 